something that may not be obvious that you share with me is that even with a thousand lawyers, you mentioned that today you have primary non-lawyers running the firm. What, what was the thought behind that? I guess what kind of led to, to that decision? I had a dinner one time with the firm uh, Simmons. They do asbestos work. And we had a dinner. They came to Orlando to meet me. And, but they had a whole team from the Simmons Law Firm, but very few of them were lawyers. They were people who ran the firm. And I was intrigued by that. I spent more time talking about their structure than about mesothelioma. And I said, you know what? All these law firms believe that we have to have a lawyer as the manager or the co-manager. And why is that? And so after that dinner, and as I've progressed, I would say that my the top part of my team that runs my business are all non-lawyers. And as we move more and more in technology, I mean, I've got a lot of people, a lot of non-lawyers making seven-figure salaries that I've hired from Google and Shave Club and national advertising agencies, call centers, and so the people who actually run my firm, very few lawyers and mostly people with very specific skill sets. I don't know the intricacies of a call center, but Angie does. And Angie has 200 people in El Salvador answering the phone. She's got 600 people in Orlando answering the phone. And that's what she does. She teaches me. And so you got to just realize that just because you're a lawyer and it's a law firm doesn't mean that the business side has to be run by lawyers who in many cases are not good business people and have other things to do. The people, the non-lawyers that work for us, they have one job and it's, that's what they do every day.